Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Cheetor. Or, as he called himself in one episode of Beast Wars, Hi guys, I'm Cheater! The name's Cheater. What's shaking, cats? Ah, just, that, that has always stuck with me. Anyway, taking a quick look at the packaging, you got Cheetor here in robot mode inside the window. Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom, some great artwork once again. You got Cheetor in Cheetah mode, just running across the box. There he is in robot mode. And there's that artwork again with the Ark crashed on top of a mountain. Back of the box, you got Cheetor in robot mode and beast mode. Side of the box, more of that fantastic Kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this cat out of the bag. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Cheetor all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see that he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a collector card, my Cheetor came with another card of the Ark. You've got the Ark flying through space right here on that really cool holographic paper. You peel the decal back. And there's the Ark crashed against Mount St. Hillary. So, yeah, yay, another Ark card. Why can't we have cards that correspond to the figure that we just bought? Oh, well, a gripe for another time. Cheetor also comes with his tail weapon. So we'll go over that here shortly as well. Now let's take a closer look at Cheetor himself. In robot mode, Cheetor looks fantastic. He looks like he stepped right out of the television screen and I couldn't be happier with this guy. I think he looks amazing. Checking out the head sculpt, very cartoon accurate. He's got a very tiny Maximal logo right there on his forehead, just like the show. Great paint applications all over the figure with the cheetah spots, the orange eyes, the nose, the coloration difference right there on the cheetah lips. Got some blue paint down here on the crotch and up here on the shoulders. That's got a lot of nice molded detail, but I think it could use a little bit more. I really can't remember if he had any more detail right there on the show, but it is what it is. Nice sculpting all the way around. I mean, the figure looks fantastic. I like the little spikes there on his shins. On the back of the figure, you've got the cheetah legs that hang off. Now, in the show, he had them crisscrossed on his back. And then, of course, you can maneuver these however you like, like so. But I kind of stick to the more show-accurate look of having them crisscross. Now, that being said, with the cheetah legs on his back, he is a little back heavy. I've got mine positioned just right thanks to his ankle tilts. Now, speaking of articulation, Cheetor's head is on a ball joint. It can look up and down. It can do a complete 360. The arms can go in and out. They can't do a th complete 360 because of the panels back here. 
but I don't really know many people that pose their figures with their arms rotated backwards anyway. There is a bicep swivel, there is wrist rotation, there is waist rotation, legs up and down, back and forth, a knee bend, and as I just said, ankle tilts. There's also a rotation right there above the knee. Let's see. No hip rotation though. So lots of articulation for the figure. Now taking a quick look at his weapon. This is his tail that also forms this whip axe thing. So you can put this in Cheetor's hand just like so. So he's got that going on. I think it would have looked better if maybe the blade was on this end, but what are you gonna do? Now my big complaint with the tail weapon is he didn't use the whip until season two when he became trans metal. I really wish he came with his gut gun. That's what he used throughout season one and was actually a staple accessory with the character. But wishes do come true thanks to my good friend Firetox. I sent him a private message via Facebook asking if he could possibly make a gut gun for Cheetor and a week later I have this in my hand. And he did a really good job on this gut gun. Printed in yellow plastic, which blends really well with Cheetor here. It's got some great detailing all the way around. It looks just like Cheetor's gut gun. Now, I'm probably going to get some paint and paint this gold and this area right here, if you can make out the detail, kind of a flesh tone to make it, excuse me, to make it look more cartoon accurate. But let's check it out in Cheetor's hand. Get the whip out. We'll place the gut gun in hand. And there we go. That looks so much better. That is more Cheetor with his, his pistol, his rifle. I love it. Thank you so much, Firetox. That looks amazing. So now let's get Cheetor transformed into Cheetah mode. Now the first thing you have to do before transforming Cheetor into beast mode is remove his weaponry. Now you're going to take his head and do a 180. So get that around. You kind of have to bend up a little bit to make sure it fits right in behind that little flap there behind the neck. Now what you're going to do is take the cheetah head and you need to pop it off a peg that's right there. And that can be a little tight sometimes. So once you get that popped off, you're going to bring it out. It's on a double hinge and just slide Cheetor's robot head inside the beast head. And there you go. And now you're going to close the cheetah mouth. Now you're going to take this section or these sections right here, flip these back. And now you're going to take the arms and fold in the blue sections. So they're going to fold in just like so. Get the arms down straight. And then you're going to take the fists and rotate these around. Just like so. And now you're going to take these sections, these halves right here, close these up forming Cheetor's chest. Let's see, I got the arms wrong. Make sure this these pieces are facing out. These will form the cheetah's belly. So get these tabbed in, get these tabbed in down here. Flip the fists around to make sure that this these sections face outwards. That will not tab in for me right now. There we go. So now we've got this going on. Get the cheetah legs down in front. Take these side flaps, snap those down into place. I already got the one on that side. Now for the legs, you're going to take the robot feet, bring those back into the back of the leg, flip the cheetah legs down, and just kind of angle those in like so. Get the cheetah feet folded down. Now we're going to take the tail weapon and you insert that in that hole right there. Make sure the blade is facing down. That will peg in and now we have Cheetor 
in cheetah mode. And this is not a bad looking cheetah mode at all. You do have some blue robot bits shining through. And of course the feet are sticking out from the back of the beast, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, there's never been a flawless beast mode as far as the Beast Wars characters are concerned. Love the paint job on this guy. The cheetah spots are super detailed along with the stripes on the face. The nose, the lips, everything looks great. Let's see if we can tap him in a little better. He also has articulation right here at the mouth with some nice molded in teeth. And he can even really do that real wide surprise face like yoinks. So you got that going on. Now articulation. The forelegs can move up and down, in and out. There is a elbow bend and wrist rotation and bend as well. The paws are on ball joints. So you've got a lot of articulation right there. Back legs, same thing, in and out, back and forward. There is a knee bend and these paws are also on ball joints. A really, really cool cheetah mode. I think they really pulled it off very well. I mean, this figure has really surprised me. Now, as far as the gut gun's concerned, you can store the gut gun underneath Cheetor, right there in the fist on the belly. I mean, it's, it's not perfect, but it is an option. You could put it right there. If they had molded him with a hole right there in the waist area, that would have been perfect. But like I said, this is a third-party weapon. It didn't come with the figure. Now, I do wish he had articulation in the head. He does not. I mean, there's nothing there. That would have added a little bit more to the posability, along with maybe some more posability in the tail. But still, this cheetah mode looks great, and I couldn't be happier. So there you go, guys. Cheetor in cheetah mode. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Cheetor with Kingdom Optimus Primal, Kingdom Rat Trap, who Firetox also found for me at his local Target. I haven't got him out of the package yet. And fellow feline-themed bot, Tiger Track. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Cheetor is a fantastic bot. I hate to admit it, I was originally going to pass up on this guy when he was first announced because I never had the original Cheetor, but I'm so glad I changed my mind because I absolutely love this figure. A show accurate bot mode, a show accurate beast mode, and Fire Tox's gun, that's just icing on the cake. And as you can see, the gun is also Blast Effect compatible. If you would like to get a Fire Tox gut gun for yourself, it's free to download from his website if you happen to have a 3D printer. If you would like to purchase one, I am going to leave all of his contact information in the description below. So there you go, guys. War for Cybertron Kingdom, Cheetor. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Cheetor, belong in your collection? Absolutely. I freaking love this guy. As I said, I was going to pass him up. I never had a Cheetor from the original series. I only collected Predacons back in the day, so... I wasn't really interested in this guy, but the more I looked at him, I had to pick him up, and I am so glad I did. He's got a great robot mode, great beast mode, and I got to give Firetox a big shout out because the gut gun is fantastic. This figure should have came with one because in the first season of Beast Wars, Cheetor always had his weapon. He was always getting in trouble. If you recall the first episode, he shot Megatron in the face that more or less kicked off the battle in the first season. So I can't believe Hasbro didn't supply the gun, but Firetox, thank you so much. I'm glad you did. And guys, like I said, if you want to get one of these gut guns, contact him via the information I have in the description below. He's a great guy to work with. And as far as the figure's concerned, you see this guy on the shelf. Do not hesitate. Pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, 
I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!